few weeks that we hadn't seen each other. Mm -hmm. It's always a blessing to come in the house of the Lord to come serve him again. Yeah. Give another portion of his word. And uh, I'm thanking God always for the saints. And the saints, the love that they have for other saints and the people of the world. You, 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 the, the Bible talks about it in Galatians 16. I did it on my live broadcast this morning. Talking about be good to all men. Especially those of the household of faith. Meaning be good to all mankind. Don't let the sun go down on wrath and situations. Fix it before it's everlasting too late. Before Jesus come back like a thief in the night. And just continue also just to look for Jesus. Push for the prize. Push for the hill. And continue to do Jesus every day of the week. Every hour, every second. 365 days in a year. Not just some of the time. Yes, we have a day coming up called Easter. Mm -hmm. But every day is Easter to me. Amen. There ain't no bunny rabbit or egg. Jesus is better than a bunny rabbit and an egg. Amen. He is who he is, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Be good to all men, and we're going to continue to be good by telling him the naked truth, the gospel, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This morning, let's go to our uh, lesson for today. The title of the lesson is part two. Brothering, which kept not their first estate. The scripture today grounded and, proud, uh, and founded in the word that Brother Gibbons and what he spoke in on is Ephesians chapter five, one through 13, but he might want to touch 14 as well. But yes, the you. first part of it is talking about living in the light. The the first part is talking about uh, being transformed the old life to the new, verses 1 through 5. And Ephesians uh, 5, 6 through 14 talks about living in the light. We'll be reading those scriptures this morning for the first encouragement scripture and the second middle encouragement scripture. Our first song this morning, led by Brother Sanders, Darius Sanders, great, great brother in the Lord that's still uh, singing and making melody in the heart to the Lord. And, uh, great song leader in the Lord. Our first song this morning will be I Will Call Upon the Lord, page 63. Mark your books, page 63. I Will Call Upon the Lord. That's the first song. And I'll be the one leaving the avenue of prayer to start out this service. I always say long way to go, short time to get there. Amen. Let's get there in Jesus this morning as I open up the prayer for the congregation of people. Lord God, I am thankful for this day, for it's called today, that the saints of God are assembling and coming together as a whole, being of one, one accord, being of the same like mind as Christ this morning. And we should always be and have those matters in the order that it has been put out, and put out by Christ. Let us continue to do all his will and not partial, part of his will. And Father, thank you. Thank you for your new and better covenant that you've given us to follow. He said in Jeremiah 31, 31, that there will be a new covenant in the house of Israel and Judea. And we follow that today by the inspiring pages of inspiration. Father, this morning, I'd like to pray for those who have been sick and still bedridden, Father. Father, I want to pray for the people that have been going through difficulties and times of trouble and situations in life, Father. Father, I say this prayer this morning for help, Father. We bring our petition unto you, Father. Father, I want to pray for the Gibbons family as they continue to strive for the prize and push for Jesus as well. Even the Johnson family, this whole circle of praise, even the Sanders family, and all those who I have not said upon. Father, I want you to pray for all the churches of Christ that they be strong and be a good courage and do like Joshua said. Be strong and be of good courage and do. Father, this morning, I just want to pray for us to have a assembling together in spirit and in truth. There's only one way you can worship Christ, and that is John 4, 24. If God, those who worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hope that, Lord, that the words that are being said this morning can prick our heart to be a better person in life and be a better saint all the way and all the time through our life. Father, I say this prayer with all the love in my heart, mind, body, and soul. Have a fun. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I do say it. Amen. 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 Amen, brother. In that first song, <clears throat> I will call upon the Lord, page 6 3. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 
Good morning, morning, brother. We all assembled again this Lord's day. Body back safe and sound and all in one peace. Amen. Praise God. I probably have to forgive me. I shouldn't have hate that. <laughs> Boy, it takes my wind out. It's going to be tight. Uh, yeah, page 63, I will call upon the Lord. In the good times and even in the trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. call upon the Lord. We'll sing this uh, twice through. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. You know the Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. You know the Lord. Blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. You know the Lord liveth, and blessed be the salvation be exalted. You know the Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord. That was a great song. That scripture that leads to that song is Psalms 18.3, I will call to the Lord who is worthy of praise. To keep it in your archive of that song. When we give something in the church, the true vine, the true church of the people of God, we give a song of praise that matches up with the scripture, contents of scripture, read, and we go from there to tell you and sing God praises coming from the heart, mind, body, and soul, singing make it melody in the heart to the Lord. As we go to our scripture reading this morning, the first scripture of encouragement this morning, Ephesians 5, 1 through 5, the scriptural contents of the scriptural text, the old life and the new, old life and new. It also talks about this particular scripture setting in uh, Ephesians 4, 17, following of uh, Ephesians also, I think it's 1732 I think. my mind said yeah, thank you. to the end of chapter 17 to the end but we're going to be reading Ephesians 5 and it talks about the old life and new Ephesians 5, 1 through 5 he said, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also had loved us and had given himself for us an offering and a sweet and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savior. But fornication and all uncleanness of covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become its saints. Neither filthiness, uh, it is nor foolish talking nor gesturing, which are not convenient, but rather giving thanks. Mm -hmm. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is a idolater, had any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. May the Lord add a blessing to this scripture reading of encouragement this morning. May it continue to help you be encouraged and not being stirred away from Christ. Continue to hold fast to God's unchanging hand to the end. Blessings to the church this morning and the encouragement of Scripture. Amen, Move brother. On. Our next song of singing 
the second song of service is I'll Live, li I'll Live in Glory, page 895. 895. to stay here longer than men's allotted days and watch the fleeting changes of life uneven way. But if my Savior calls me to that sweet home on high, I'll live with him forever in glory by and by. Oh yes, I'll live in glory, heaven by and by. I'll tell him, sing the story. Stand in awe of you. Brother 
I'm trying another song this morning. Another song, something we haven't sung in quite some time with the church. That's kind of a hard song. It's not easy. We're working time on that. Our next scripture meeting, I call it the middle scripture reading for more encouragement to the saints and the people who are listening to the words of God this morning. This particular scripture setting here is scripture uh, text information is living in the light. Living in the light. Ephesians 5, verse 6 through 14. Ephesians 5, 6 through 14. And it says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of their things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. He says, but be, ye, be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but I now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as the children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Mm -hmm. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever they make manifest is light. Wherefore, he said, Awake. Thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. May the Lord add a blessing again, Amen. again and again, for the more encouragement of the word. Not just listen to the word, but follow the word. Be a hearer and a doer of his word that James talks about. And even the scriptures in James chapter 2, 14, 26. Faith without works is dead. Let us stay alive, saints and people who are listening. Amen. As we continue on in this service. This service this morning goes into the order of preparing ourselves in prayer and making a request be known unto God. Unto God. And we'll have those requests and make it known unto God this morning. If uh, you'd like to do so, we'll have Brother Sanders this morning do the preparation for the prayer. Amen. He's right all the way on that table right there. We have you on the forefront this morning, changing the letter, changing the way, Appreciate changing that. our duty. <laughs> <laughs> Me, brother, I'm going to come out and say it. Um, I ask the saints to keep the Gibbons family in prayers. Um, uh, before I partake of the Lord's Supper, um, I would like to confess to the saints that there are some things uh, me and my wife had a disagreement about and this morning, and I know my voice could carry. Uh, my wife has always told me to work on my delivery, uh, so I want to make that known before the saints. Um, I, you know, it wasn't over fanning or anything like that, but I just wanted to say um, before I partake of the Lord's Supper, I want that to be out on my heart that uh, I'm even talking to our, our loved ones um, even to be respectable uh, to be have a, a sound mind when we're trying to articulate the things that we're trying to say even in anger uh, the Bible says be angry and say not but I feel like I was overzealous this morning towards my wife so uh, I want to uh, ask the saints to keep the Gibbons family in prayers um, a daughter Cece I, I kind of dropped the ball on picking her up this morning from her friend's house who was running late so uh, that's not an excuse uh, I, I want all my children and tenants that, that are here so I uh, ask the saints to just keep us in prayer for the many things that we have up before the Lord um, um, car situations uh, you know you get two cars and you get one of them want to act right I, I need I need an oil change I mean act you know act up I get I need an oil change engine my engine was making some weird sounds that I didn't like on my truck. So I um, asked the saints to keep us in prayers for our finances. And uh, um, we know the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Um, uh, we've been
been doing some great things. I've been doing some great teaching and learning from each other. So the enemy wants to get in any which way he tries to get in. So I uh, ask the saints just continue to keep praying for the Gibbons family. Thank you, brother, for being able to have a spirit that even in the matter of something about to be able to confess their faults to one another. That's being a strong brother in the Lord. Appreciate it, brother. You know, and God, God Praise God. In that no matter how small, there's no such thing as small sin. Sin is just what it is. Amen. Sin is what it is. Appreciate your love. Amen. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Praise God. Yes, sir. Um, First of all, I just want to thank God for allowing me to make it back here on Texas soil safely. Um, and I'm asking for prayers, continued prayers for my sister um, and her family, the Ward family. Um, she's going through some, some things medically, and um, I, I went out there to kind of put my eyes on her and see where I can help as a family member and also, you know, they're also members of the body. So I also offer them encouragement in the Lord as their sister in Christ. Um, just to pray for them to to be able to go through what they're going through, the husband especially, uh, trying to deal with my sister and why she's going through what she's dealing with, just to, you know, be with the Lord. Family and um, and then um, I also want to pray for um, my my brother and his family. Um, that my brother finds his way back to Christ before it's too late, and that he could be an encouragement to um, his lady that's in the Lord, so they can bring their family up in the way that God. Amen. We'll prefer that to be. And um, and then lastly, just praying for me and my family, my daughter and my sons, um, my granddaughter, that you know we can be where God wants us to be spiritually. We go strong. Praise God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> also, uh, I'm sorry, brother. Um, Burnett Miles, a good friend of mine. Um, uh, you know, the devil um, has his way uh, again, has his way of getting involved. Um, he was supposed to be here this morning, uh, him and his uh, son and um, uh, his girlfriend. I'm definitely continue to keep praying for him. Uh, I remember once upon a time where uh, my zeal, and like I said, um, even in talking to my wife, uh, being overzealous and have to work on my tongues, even when I'm upset. You know, my zeal is to do God's word, and I don't want to push this brother away because I give him so much information, and I, I love him dearly. He's my best friend from high school, and um, he wasn't able to make it. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him yet. I haven't texted him because I've been focused on uh, the things that I want to prepare for the saints, but uh, keep Burnett Miles in prayers. He is diligently seeking. You know, we work together at my second job, and he's asking all the right questions, um, I just don't want him to, you know, use the analogy of get cold feet when it comes to serving, you know, because um, a lot of times he said he lost his faith dealing with things um, with the army and uh, he has a lot of decisions on if he wants to go back, um, go back overseas and he has a divorce he's trying to um, disannul, you know, so there's a lot of things on his mind and I don't want to push him too, too far. Uh, so I just want to, um, you know, treat him as, as a babe and, and, and you know, instruct him as I can go, but uh, just continue to keep him lifted in your prayers that um, at a point in time that he will be here to uh, worship with us. Um, and I also ask the saints to keep me in your prayers as well. Uh, just to piggyback on what my husband said from our disagreement this morning that I will be slow to speak and swift to hear and be able to practice now a little bit more patience. So I just please pray for me and Matt. Um, and we do have not, well, we don't have any bad situations, but just things can kind of weigh on you from work and with the children. And so, that you know, just to not us take it out on each other, um, our frustration. So just please keep me in your prayers as well as yeah. um, 
me and Sister Adria actually from work, there's a, a lot of things last week that came up and it seemed like it all came up all at once. And uh, it was real stressful, but we were able to get through the week. So just keep us in your prayer that we continue to handle all situations um, being thrown at us and Sister Adria and the front office as well. Um, as they're dealing with some other things that it <clears throat> doesn't weigh too much on the staff to where everybody can, will be at each other's throats. So just, we're just praying for peace at this moment. Amen. 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 Father, we're so thankful for this opportunity, Father, that you have given us, Father, another day. You bless us with pertaining to grace and mercy, Father, to once again come to assemble as your children, Father, as a congregation to worship you in spirit and truth, Father. We're so thankful for the many blessings that you bestow on each and every one of us. And Father, we're so thankful for this avenue that we have through prayer, Father, that we can make our requests and petitions known unto thee, Father, that we can come boldly before your throne. And Father, that we, when we pray for what we pray for, Father, for we know you already know what we need, mm -hmm. what we may ask, Father, but that we do not doubt that we have full confidence, faith, trust, and hope that yes. whatever we ask in prayer, if, it, if it's according to your will, Father, that you may grant mm -hmm. that request. And Father, it's at this time that we come praying for the Gibbons family. Mm -hmm. uh, for we understand, Father, that marriages is, is difficult. It, it's a flowing process. Uh, we have people, two different people come from two different backgrounds and they come together, Father, and you know, you, you, you learn things as pertaining to your word and our roles as husbands and wives, Father, but we come praying uh, about the marriages and the things that pertain to the marriage, Father, that we have better understanding of our roles as women <coughs> and our roles as women in the marriage. Father, we come praying for uh, the finances, Father, but we understand uh, times can get hard, Father, and things may tighten up, Father, but we understand that uh, nevertheless we have to give all we have to you, Father, and we know that you are faithful to us, Father, that we 
always look for you for our help uh, to carry us through any situation that we may be in, Father. Father, we also pray for Sister Gilda that she has for patience. Uh, Father, something that we all should strive to have, Father, uh, patience. Uh, as fruits of the, fruit of the Spirit, Father, that uh, we be patient one with the other, Father, that you are patient with us as we take to your grace and mercy, Father. We're so thankful. Brother Gibbs' family for making their request and petition known unto the congregation of their father. We just pray that you strengthen them, you comfort them. Uh, father, that you never leave them. Father, that they keep their hand in your hand and that everything that they do or say, Father, is well pleasing and acceptable in our sight and according to your will. Father, we also pray for Brother Gibbs' friend, uh, Burnett Miles, Father, and any uh, life trials and tribulations that he may face father and we're so thankful for this faithful brother brother Gibbons that he's able to teach him the things that pertains to life and godliness according to your word father we pray that everything that brother Gibbons has taught him father that he continues to prick his heart that he continues to ask questions and brother Gibbons gives him the whole counsel of God that one day father if it be thy will that he may obey the gospel a part of the family of God. Father, we also pray for Sister Avery in the work situation, Father, for again, we know that work can be stressful for us, uh, dealing with many different people, situations, obstacles, and things of that nature, Father. But we pray that wherever we go, whether it's work, home, the store, or wherever, Father, that we always take you with us and that we're always mindful and conscious of who we are. Always on us, Father. So we pray that you strengthen her and that you're able to carry her through any situation that she may face uh, as well, Father. And also, Father, we pray for the neighbor that asked for prayer, Amon. Uh, we're so thankful that they're setting the example before him. Uh, hopefully, Father, that by that example, that he may inquire the things that pertains to the Lord, they may have an opportunity. Set up a Bible class and uh, get him to participate in things that are being taught that may prick his heart and that he may come to the fall before it's everlasting too late. Mm -hmm. Father, we also pray for the brotherhood, uh, strength of for the family of God, for we understand and know that there are many things going on around about us in this world, in particular in the brotherhood, uh, as pertaining to the doctrines and the things that we do pertaining to worship and the things that you would have us to do and what the things you would have us not to do. We just pray for the brotherhood that for those that are swaying away from the doctrine and the true teaching, Father, that they may repent and come back before it's everlasting too late. And Father, we pray for the brotherhood that are standing flat for the firm in faith, that we do not waver, Father, that we just continue to press and stand always stay with, with you, Father, and we also pray, and we know and we hope, Father, that you will continue to be with us and give us all the things and the attributes that we need, Father, to sustain in this battle that we are in, this spiritual battle. Uh, we know we know, we know war against flesh and blood, Father, but we, when we're in the war, that we continue to keep the arm of God on, Father, that as we go about our daily routines and tasks, Father, that whatever say may throw at us, Father, that we're fully protected and we have our own arm and we're able to fight. Father, we come praying for the Johnson family as a whole. Uh, so thankful for the blessing Sister Johnson and Travis Grace back from her vacation. Father, we pray for her sister and the Ward family. The medical situation is going on, Father, for again, we know as we, as we continue to grow old that the body breaks down, Father, and we're not as young and spry as we used to be, Father, but we just pray that even though the, the physical body breaks down and withers away, Father, but it's the spiritual body. And we pray that that's always intact, Father, that we, we don't never let our spiritual body break down and that we just keep on pressing for that mark. And Father, we also come praying for our brother uh, and sister to Father, we know you know that situation. But she, uh, we pray for her brother that he comes back. 
back to the phone, repent for us everlasting to make. Uh, we just pray for that situation as a whole, that whatever is going on, Father, whatever they may be going through, Father, that only you can fix it. Uh, we pray for the sister, uh, one sister in Christ, that she continues to be the example, that she continues to abide within uh, Christ, Father, and not waver, uh, regardless of what she may face or be up against, Father, that something that she may say and do may prick his conscience, Father, and cause him to repent and come back. Father, also we pray uh, for, the, for my family. Uh, again, my daughter that who's in the Navy in California, uh, being so far away, Father, I'm so thankful that you blessed her to see another year. She turned 24. So thankful for her being able to provide and take care of herself as a young lady. Father, we pray that, again, that she be an example to her husband. Uh, that is something that she says uh, may do that he may inquire even more and have a better a better understanding and zeal to want us, you know, to be baptized in the latest gospel before it's everlasting too late. Also, Father, pray for my sons. Uh, we know we love our children, but even though they're not always in line with what the parents may say or have them to do, Father, but we pray for them anyway, even though it's frustrating at times, but we pray for them that uh, they know what they've been trained, taught, and raised to do. Uh, we did, we do our best as we can as parents, Father, but we just pray for our sons uh, that more diligent and, and not so slowful about God's business. And just pray, pray for my family as a whole that, you know, me and my wife, that we always set the example for our children and those around about us. Father, we're so thankful that we do have brothers and sisters in Christ that are examples and encouragement to us, Father, and helps us to uh, be strong and and leaning on one another things that pertains to the kingdom as your word says and Father we just pray for the churches of Christ throughout the world uh, Father again we know that this world is coming to an end but Father that we be ready when that day comes and Father we just want to thank you so much for again the many blessings that you bestow on each and every one of us Father we're so thankful for the love you showed toward us, Father, that you sent your son, Jesus, to this earth, lived as a man, fully man, and fully God. And he set an example that is recorded in your word, Father, that we may follow his steps. We're so thankful for that ultimate sacrifice, uh, for him going and being obedient all the way to the cross, Father. And now we know that he sits at your right hand in glory. But Father, we can't thank you enough for that sacrifice, Father, all the things that you have done for us, the things that you will continue to do, Father, for your grace and mercy. Father, again, we just thank you. And we pray that as we continue throughout this service, Father, that we do everything that is pleasing and in our sight in thy sight. And again, Father, just thank you, Jesus. We ask this prayer. I just want to say in Jesus Christ's name, let us all say amen. 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 Page 745. Amen. 745. Pretty good song to match up in the time of scripture. I know you have a prayer. Humble yourself. Repeat. Let's sing all that. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. One, two, three, four. I know it's got five, but that's the first two. Humble <clears throat> yourself in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up. And he will lift you up. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the 
Son of God. Supper. It's something we all do every first day of the week. Supposedly, 